hello all here we will see some more problems related to bisection method okay so this is my question for the bisection method what is the question by using the bisection method find an approximate root of the equation what is this equation sin x equals to 1 by x that lies between x equals to 1 and 1.5 measured in radians carry out computations up to 7th stage so this is my question okay so here certain things which should be considered what is that first x range is given as 1 and 1.5 okay that means we have uh, what we are going to check the value of a and b that random check that we need not to do okay we have given the range of 1 and 1.5 we have given this range but we have to check that what is the value of a and what is the value of b means either a is 1 or a is 1.5 we have to check that by taking the value of f of 1 and f of 1.5 that will see in the solution part okay the next thing is given as carry out computations up to the seventh stage that means we have to go for the seven iteration we have to find the value of x1 x2 up to how much x7 we have to go for the seven iteration only okay this is given in the question one more thing given what is that that is the value of this function what is the function sin x equals to 1 by x okay but do remember always our function should be in the form of f of x equals to 0 this should be in this form okay so we need to convert this equation into this form then how can we convert it simply by transferring it okay so we can transfer it and we can get the value of x sin x minus 1 equals to 0 so this will be my required function x sin x minus 1 equals to 0 okay so we have to work on this equation so this thing we should consider at that time of question reading clear so now let's have a look on the solution so this is my solution yes so what is the solution i have given with this equation i have converted this equation into the required form that is x sin x minus 1 and the interval is given as 1 and 1.5 so we have to check what is the value of a and what is the value of b so f of 1 is how much minus 0 0.1585 what is f of b that is plus 0 0.49624 okay so we got this alternate solution and that was given in the question only right so we have got this two value so negative value can be represented as a and positive value can be represented as b so we got the value of a as 1 and b as 1.5 so what is my first iteration that is x1 x1 is a plus b by 2 so i kept the value of a as 1 b as 1.5 and i got the value of x1 as 1.25 okay so this is the value of x1 now what is the next procedure we have to check the f of x1 what is f of x1 simply keeping the value of 1.25 in place of x in the equation we got this value and you can see this is the positive value that means this should be replaced by b so now what is our a is 1 now this is not of our use and what is b b is 1.25 okay so we can check here in the next iteration we have taken the same a and b that is 1 and 1.25 so what is x2 x2 is 1 plus 1.25 by 2 and it came as 1.125 right so what we are going to do in the next solution f of x2 f of 1.125 and we got the value as 0 0.015505 0 0.015505 okay so this is what f of x2 and it is not equals to 0 again so we have to go for the next iteration what is my next iteration for that i need to check whether a is going to change or b is going to change so we can see this value is positive if this value is positive that means this gives the value of b so what is the value of b what we have taken at x so that is 1.125 okay so in next iteration we will take a the previous a that is 1 and b as 1.125 okay so this is the value of a and b for next iteration so here you can see we have taken the same value and this is the value for x3 then again we will do f of x3 so f of x3 is coming as negative negative means this value should be changed by a okay so in next iteration what we are going to have we are going to have the value 
for A as 1.0625, B is the previous one, this one that is 1.125. So, X4 came as 1.09375. Okay. So, this is the fourth iteration value and we can check it up to the seventh stage. The question is given as check the value up to the seventh iteration. So, we got X5, we got X6, we got X7 in the same process. Just check what is A, what is B. Okay. So, in the seventh iteration, we got the value of 1.11328. So, this is the value of the root up to the seventh stage for the given equation. This is our required answer. Okay. Now, there is no need of the further solution and is not of use, but we can check that if we will go for the further solution, then this is coming as minus 1.21822. That means, we have to change the value of A. Okay, but now we can stop here because as the question asked, we have to go up to the seventh stage only. So, seventh iteration value is this 1.11328. So, this is the required answer. Okay. So, according to the question, we have to give the solution. So, this is the particular solution for this kind of question. Right.